Hello, MMA fans. Back to do volume four of unknown MMA prospects. Um, before we get into uh, the guys for this video, a few things. I'm getting close to get to having enough names from the viewers to put together a viewers uh, video. I probably need another four or five names. So, uh, all you guys interested in these videos, keep the names coming. We'll put a put a video together for uh, for your guys' picks. Secondly, uh, just briefly. Looking back at the first three videos, you know, a lot of guys have, have been signed. Um, you know, we mentioned Stefan Struve two months ago in the first video, and, and uh, only a day or two ago, the UFC has signed him. Uh, Ronnie Torres was mentioned in the uh, second video, and it's kind of funny. Uh, he was signed well, three weeks afterwards, and the, and the write-up on MMA Weekly was almost identical to uh, <clears throat> the, the comments I made in my video, key victory, stuff like that. Um, so once we get rolling here, probably after, you know, another few videos, we'll put something together on the guys who've been signed since we, since I started making the videos. Um, moving on to the guys for this video. First up, um, the first guy on the list is going to be someone that the hardcore fans know. Um, probably be new to the uh, casual fans and the newer fans type of thing. Um, Alexander Shlomenko. Mutine wrestling practitioner, five foot eleven, one hundred eighty-five pounds, twenty-three years old, um, twenty-three victories, only three losses, fifteen by KO or TKO. Um, he started his career at fifteen and zero, a vicious knockout artist. Loves using the flying knee, great striker, loves the clinch. He also does possess some wrestling skills that do desire um, some improvement for sure on that aspect. Um, Vicious KO victory via spinning back fist versus Scott Hines and a deadly head kick versus Diego Vizaski, just to name a few. Throws kicks from odd angles, spinning heel kicks, you name it, this guy uh, can come at you from anywhere. Um, the only losses in his career were uh, two unanimous decision losses to Jose Pele, one beat down via uh, submission by Jakar. But again, the, the kid was only 20 years old at this time. And I believe over the last three years, he's made the transition from pretty much a one-dimensional fighter into an MMA or a mixed martial artist. But like I said, a very exciting fighter and definitely the guy uh, worth checking out and worth watching. Uh, you'll be impressed. Win or lose, he's going to put on a good show. Next on the list, um, kind of an unknown fighter to a lot of people, uh, Jarrett McMahon. Ten victories, no defeats, one tie. Three knockouts, seven submissions, 145-pound featherweight, recently moved down to 135 pounds. I guess his biggest victory would be over Jacob Hay at Show XC. Great speed, stamina, um, but he's yet to be tested. Uh, quickly finished 10 of his 11 opponents. He can knock you out. Um, he does utilize the head kick, and he does have decent transitions. Loves to take your back, and, and he's a big fan of the rear naked choke. Um, it'll be interesting to see if McMahon can hang with the big boys, and I believe we'll see him get a shot in their future at a, you know, top 20, uh, uh, band of weight. So it should be interesting, like I said, another young, unproven prospect that you might want to check out if you want to see some exciting fights. Um, next on the list, Shudo Brazil, or Brazilian Shudo vet, um, William Chikaram, 145 pounds, 12 wins, one last, two knockouts, seven submissions. Um, recently had a surprising KO win over Giovanni Ruiz. Um, he also defeated the very experienced Paulo Dantes. The only loss of his career was uh, to the aforementioned Volume 1, Heikran Diaz. Um, I would like to see Jakarim, um to see how he'd react in front of a large crowd. Since the, the Brazilian shooto events um, usually only have, a, you know, very small numbers. Nonetheless, again... A very young and exciting fighter, um, good fighter to watch. Definitely somebody you want to check out again if you're if you're looking for an upbeat fight. Uh, next on the list, um, I'm kind of prejudiced here. It's a, a Canadian boy, Nova Scotia boy, T.J. Grant, five foot eleven, 185 pounds, 23 years old, 13 wins, two losses, 12 submissions. Um, after starting the year with a loss, Grant finished strong with four straight wins, including uh, two submission wins over U uh, two UFC veterans, Forrest Pets and Chad Reiner, respectively. TJ is maybe one of the most, if not the most, underrated Canadian mixed martial artists. 
some will argue that, but with his recent victories, um, I put him in that category. Of course, he depends heavily on his uh, jiu-jitsu. Um, he went from uh, about 200 to 205 pounds, and now he shredded down to 185 where he belongs. Um, he's been training uh, BJJ since the age of 15, went on to wrestle in high school, giving him some key components for transitioning in MMA. It would be nice to see Grant get a shot at the big stage. Um, and I believe at this point with his recent couple of big victories, he deserves a shot. So uh, check him out, TJ Grant. Um, <clears throat> good technician, good fighter to watch. Last on the list for this video, um, and again, hardcore fans will know this guy, Ronnie Mann, 145-pound featherweight, 16 wins, one last one draw, two, K two TKO, 10 submissions. Um, Ronnie has fought in Cage Gladiators, Cage Raid, Shudo, amongst others. Uh, the only loss of his career came via unanimous decision to Robbie Oliver at Cage Rage 22. Um, main man trains with Team Trojan. He had some good, great teammates to work with, uh, such as Isaiah Galeshik, Miro Perak, uh, Dave Van Gasse. Man shows good JJ skills, uh, good cardio, um, kind of lax in the para department. Um, but as for the most part, hasn't fought the upper echelon of uh, type fighters at the 145-pound class. Um, so once again, you know, the question is, can man hang with the uh, legit 145-pounders? And we may soon find out. Um, like I said, he hasn't really fought anybody who's top 30, but he has compiled a 16-1-1 record. So I figured I'd throw him in the mix here. Um, you know, if he does fight at a high level, he, he knows what he's doing. He's, he's legit. Um, definitely a guy you want to check out, and we'll see if he can uh, hang with a top 20, top 30 fighter. That's pretty much it for uh, this video. It's kind of uh, done on short notice. Um, like I said at the start of the video, um, I'm about four or five names away from doing a viewer's video, so anybody uh, out there want to throw some names in the mix, feel free to. Um, comments, negative, positive positive whatever you figure video responses whatever you figure that kind of stuff i'm open for it until then peace out